Hello, uh, I'm Shuji Ogino, MD, PhD. I'm, I'm a co-corresponding and co-senior author of the paper. And I'm chief of uh, molecular pathological epidemiology at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and professor of pathology and epidemiology at the Brigham Women's Hospital, Dana Farber Cancer Institute, Harvard Medical School, and Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, and associate member of a broad institute of MIT and Harvard. Our hypothesis is as follows. The inflammatory diet causes gut inflammation, which causes impaired mucosal barrier and impaired anti-tumor immunity, which predisposed to de uh, developing Fusobacterium nucleatum positive colorectal cancer. Next slide shows inflammatory diets. Next slide shows our study population uh, consisting of nurses' health study, including 77,000 women, and uh, health professionals' follow up study, including 47, uh, 416 men. Uh, we recorded diet, lifestyle, and other exposure data. And during follow-up of these cohort studies, we documented uh, more than 1,000 colorectal cancer cases. And then we collected tissue for analysis, and we have data on the amount of Fusobacterium nucleatum in tumor tissue in 951 colorectal cancer cases which are included in this study. And the next slide shows our uh, molecular pathological epidemiology, MPE analytic framework. So we, uh, we uh, test the hypothesis that whether inflammatory diet is associated with increased risk of colorectal cancer subtype uh, with Fusobacterium nucleatum uh, detectable level uh, amount versus uh, cancer subtype and fuso with a fusobacterium nucleatum uh, undetectable level and we call it negative. And then we test the difference between these two associations. The next slide shows uh, our, our main uh, finding. So x-axis uh, is uh, uh, showed the diet inflammatory score. We divide into tertiles, uh, so low to mid to high to the left. And then the uh, y-axis shows multivariable uh, relative risk. So the higher the risk, higher risk for cancer. And then we divide it into two subtypes. One is a fusobacterium nucleatum positive colorectal cancer, and then Right side is a new Fusobacterium nucleatum negative cancer. And you can see the risk for Fusobacterium nucleatum colorectal ca positive cancer risk increased with uh, uh, increased the diet, uh, diet inflammatory score. However, there's no such risk increase for Fusobacterium nucleatum negative cancer. And then statistically significant difference was de detected between these two subtypes, as, as shown in the top of P heterogeneity, indicating the difference. This is a subset analysis limited to proximal colon cancer because Fusobacterium nucleatum preferentially detected in proximal colon cancer, and we thought uh, it's related to pathogenesis of proximal colon cancer. So you can see Fusobacterium nucleatum positive proximal colon cancer increased even greater by diet inflammatory score. And then still there's no risk increase for Fusobacterium nucleatum negative cancer. And the difference is even more significant. P for heterogeneity is now 0.003. The conclusion of, from our finding, uh, the inflammatory diets are associated with increased risk of colorectal cancer positive for Fusobacterium nucleatum, but not risk of colorectal cancer negative for Fusobacterium nucleatum. And this differential association appears stronger in proximal colon cancer. 
And these findings need to be replicated in independent studies. So we publish this uh, study and uh, as a first uh, study and no other study published on this topic yet and uh, this need to be replicated. And the implications, uh, dietary and nutritional intervention that can suppress gut inflammation may be useful for precision medicine and cancer prevention. Infuse a bacterium nucleatum in stool or a colon tissue may serve as a biomarker for subsequent cancer risk, in particular related to inflammatory diets. Thank you so much for your attention.